weeks pregnant. And I would gotta say my number one symptom, like this past week to week and a half, has just been a complete crap mood. And now I'm not like going around biting everyone's head off. I just feel like just irritated. I'm like, I definitely can feel myself complaining a lot more just about like literally everything. And I don't know, hard stuff seems harder and easy stuff doesn't feel as easy as it did. Like, and I don't know, maybe I do just like need a little bit of a break or something from life. Cause it's not like I've never had this feeling before, like, you know, being not pregnant. I have. I've definitely been in funks. But this one I just, like, can't seem to shake. And I'm going to blame pregnancy even though it could very well just be, like, life. I don't know. I think pregnancy is maybe making it worse. But, yeah, 24 weeks pregnant and feeling angry or frustrated, I guess, is really the better word. Because I wouldn't say I'm actually angry. I'm just easily, easily irritated. And, oh, speaking of being irritated, I knew that my phone was only going to sit in that spot for like two seconds. I really needed to just get like one of those mounts because I feel like every time I hold my phone, it's super shaky and I feel bad because it's not fun to watch a shaky video, but, um, <laughs> so other, other things going on other than the fact that I'm like raging. Today is August 1st. Oh, I just had a butterfly. <laughs> oh. Anyways, great start to the month. I went and took my glucose test this morning. So yeah, I failed that. Fail is such a crappy word because there's nothing you can really do to pass or fail. It's literally, it's just the way your body works, but... I did fail and now I have to go do the three hour one. So, so far, as August has been going so far, it's not great, but in two weeks we have our first baby shower, in three weeks we're taking a vacation, and in five weeks we're taking a long weekend for Labor Day. So what else has been going on? I have been having some back pain, like, I can't show you because I'm driving, but okay, it's like right in the middle of my back, like middle up and down. It goes all the way across, um, but kind of like right, I guess I would say like below the shoulder blades. And it started probably three or four weeks ago. And it like for about like a week and a half, it got really, really bad where like on my drive home from work, um, it would be hurting so bad that I would be like, breathing through it like people like breathe through a contraction like I there's no way I would have been able to like talk to anyone because I was just like <sighs> like it it was very sharp very painful I called my doctor you know they I think the same thing that they said that it's something to do with muscle because it definitely hurts worse when I've been sitting like at a computer for a long time which is what I do in my job and um when I'm driving kind of the same thing sitting um with like my arms like having to be like stretched out a little bit um but luckily oh yeah they just told me um take Tylenol if you need it and just kind of like let us know if it gets worse or doesn't really get better and it did it got better a little bit but it still is like some days it's worse and for some reason when I work at the building that I'm going to today it's a lot worse it must just be something about the way the chair is shaped or something but uh Luckily, as soon as I stand up, walk around, or lay down, it completely goes away. It's literally just when I'm sitting. So, I mean, I can, you know, I can make the pain go away pretty quickly. I haven't actually taken any Tylenol just because, I mean, I know Tylenol is safe, but I'm just kind of trying to avoid medication as much as I can. Plus, this might sound crazy. Chris actually thought, he was like, thought it was a good idea, is that I'm trying to, like, learn how to deal with pain if that makes sense. Like, I want to, you know, I feel pain. I just want to be like, okay, this is pain. Like, it's okay. You know, you can just feel it, be in the moment, whatever, because 
you know, having a baby is going to be really painful. I need to just, I feel like I need to mentally get a little bit stronger in that area. So when I feel that back pain, I'm just like, okay, like just figure out how you're going to deal with this sensation without, you know, assistance. I did talk to, tell my doctor today at the appointment, you know, that I had been having this back pain. He's a different doctor um, than I, like my tip, my normal OB because they want you to see all the different doctors, meet them all because you don't necessarily know who's going to be delivering your baby. Um, and the first thing he said to me, I swear, it pissed me off so much. He was like, yeah, it does kind of sound like a postural issue. You just need to be a little bit more mindful of how you're sitting. And I wanted to be like, um, f you, like you, uh, when you are sitting, working, like the last thing you think of is like, oh, like my posture. Oh, I have like 10 extra pounds in the front. Let me just figure out what my posture should now be from having that. Oh my gosh. It made me so mad, but that might just be because I've been so mad lately. But, um, he also said other things like try a pregnancy belt. If none of that's really working, we'll talk to like, talk about maybe seeing like a physical therapist and they can help you, you know, offset all this extra weight that I'm carrying around, not just in my belly. I think that the reason that it's hurting where it is is because my boobs are so much heavier and my belly's heavier and because it's not the lower back. It's like right in the middle. So it's probably just like, dang, too much weight in the front. I can't handle it. Um, but I don't know. Whatever. Other symptoms. New symptoms is heartburn. It's not like all that bad and it's like the weirdest kind of heartburn that I've ever felt before because it doesn't actually burn <laughs> like it doesn't feel like that kind of like burning feeling most of the time sometimes I can feel it but it just feels like I'm full like up to here and it feels like if I put like anything else I try and eat or drink anything else I'm just gonna immediately throw up and I don't think you know it's not like nausea it's just feeling full like so full when I'm not eating all that much and I think it's just like a like a version of heartburn because taking I have actually started taking medications for that just like some calcium carbonate I think I take the Alka-Seltzer brand just because they're like a really tasty little chewy thing um but it seems to help and so yeah it's just got to be some weird version of heartburn but I guess that's kind of been the gist of my life for the last few weeks um so, what, 24 weeks? So, I have, like, 16 weeks to go. That's not bad. I feel like... I feel like this pregnancy is moving along pretty quickly. Um, the last month has felt really slow, kind of like I said before. But I think she'll be here before we know it. And I'm just really, really hoping that I don't have a rough third trimester. Because I've been enjoying the semi-normal second trimester. Because even with the symptoms that I've had... Like, I feel pretty normal most of the time. I feel like I can do the things in the day. Like, I don't have the fatigue anymore, and that's really, really nice. Um, because, oh gosh, if that comes back, that's, uh, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> so, thanks so much for watching. Sorry if this was a really negative video. Um, but it's really, like, just how I've been feeling. So, so you can, you know, like and comment and subscribe if you want to support me and I hope you are having a very happy and wonderful day, week, month, whatever. Uh, my, mine's gonna get better. I know it is. All right. Bye.